Hello and welcome to Spring Commander Forged Alliance. This will be a classic between TLO, uh, the little one, versus Duris. It's 3599 Fins. Duris going with Aeon first land. TLO going first land uh, with Aeon as well. So very similar for both players. Of course, Fins Revenge, a classic map. This is likely one uh, ranked game. Perhaps from attorney, I have no idea, or just friendly. But definitely in the ranked ladder, pretty common game. Especially if you're playing Aeon, it's a huge advantage to either one of these players. May have been looking for this one. One thing to note, uh, the mask tractors are split for Durs. Uh, maybe I can uh, look at each base separately here. You can see Durs moving out with some engineers. But both two, just two engines from both players, so not too much aggression early on. Of course, these rocks here are a one point of contention. You can either send your engineer there early on, so one of your early engines has to go there for sure. Uh, and of course, that's the place to attack with the Allied Assault Puts. But now, finally, a scout from Duras. Of course, people should know TLO. Uh, he did very well in StarCraft, still playing quite well today. Hasn't really touched subcoming years, but you always be welcome back. And Duras, also a player we haven't seen too much on FAF. But he was on the uh, Imba Cup, actually, I believe he was in both Imba Cups. Had some great games with uh, Tag Rock. Looks like an Aurora here. Yeah, well, really good replay on this channel. Uh, Rock, Tag Rock versus Duras in round one of Imba Cup 2 and the pizza. That was really a classic if you have uh, 30, 40 minutes uh, and you haven't seen it. That's really one worth watching. Looks like all out land for Duras. He's got a total of uh, six land factories planned. Something very different from uh, the little one. He's got one land, one air, making flares, going for ghettos. No question, he's getting a transport. And uh, very uncharacteristic. And Finn's usually much more aggression from either player. I don't think anybody's past the middle point except for this uh, interceptor now from TLO. He's not going to see there is no air. It's going to make him real happy. Actually, here comes the first air factory from Duris. And the ghetto from TLO is now on the way, of course, against Auroras. Any air units, any threat from the air against ground is extremely potent. A very weak health. Aeon uh, really make their living on land using their range and staying away from people. But you can't stay away from it if it's from the air. And we already see quite a few kills for that uh, ghetto. Now it's going to get hit by interceptors. It's going to be a tragedy unfolding before our eyes here. Yeah, those flares did not make it. At the same time, we do see Durs uh, attacking in with his uh, Auroras. Just made it straight across the pond. That's one advantage Aeon do have, the floating units. Two ACUs uh, looks like uh, really far away from each other. TLO now moving into the middle. Well, Durs much more aggressive with the ACU already. Uh, Basically in reach of Little One's base, he may have to start making point defenses or he'll be in danger of losing uh, his starting position, which should be uh, pretty much game over. We're now seeing TLO in a very similar position to Duris, making his way forward. Looks like in a second ghetto now being assembled by TLO. Feels like he has air control, which uh, is not obvious because there's now three versus two. Battle in terms of interceptors. He's got more entities coming. Looks like interceptors are going to focus on the ghetto, and that's going to cost them air control, but the ghetto might just die there. That'll be the second one. That's a total of t 12 flares, and that's tragic there. The second ghetto, not, not nearly as good for TLO. Now, TLO getting pretty close to Durs base for Durs with massive land uh, production. Does have the units to defend also with a point defense. So good looking base there for Durs. TLO, though. Definitely the more uh, crazy player in this one with those ghettos and trying to take air control. There is now with one kill making his way. Look like he may be trying to cut off TLO from getting any reinforcements to the ACU. Third ghetto now uh, on its way is going to be assembled. Here minute six there is a nice Aurora here with a scout behind TLO's base. He might try to get that Hydro secretly. That would be a huge economic loss. And we do see total air control now from TLO and his third ghetto is going to be absolutely fearless here. There is some flak. 
kill a tech on flak. It'll take a long time for one tech on flak to kill a ghetto. And this third ghetto is very successful. It looks like he is thinking about the third. So you can see the strategy here from TLO. All the uh, ghetto gunships. And you can see this force just disappeared. That's all these uh, flares inside this transport. TLO now retreating. Trying to keep air control. You can see the micro in uh, with air, it's actually quite difficult. The units uh, have very wide turn radii and uh, it's all, always happening very quick. Dirt is not getting in a bit of trouble perhaps. He's getting hit by ghetto. And a whole bunch of Auroras which aren't really doing a good job blocking. Auroras have been dropped off. Dur is going down to 1k. Health gets into the water with 27 kills. And uh, meanwhile TLO using ACU 16 kills. Trying to get some mass extractors in enemy territory. Total air, uh, map control from a little one on his side. Also air control. And yet another ghetto. So it looks like TLO is going to do the ghettos until... There's total air domination by one side, T2 flak. Uh, this tech one stage is going to them every single time. Not surprising, good uh, strategy against Aeon. And we can see all these auroras. Really nowhere for them to hide, no air support. And it's quite tragic there for uh, Doris. That's a couple nice chunks of mass. We see Doris making his way out of the water with some uh, support. And the ghetto is just going to come to this side. Try to do the same thing, but. Finally, it looks like, uh, let's see if this one, nope, that's another dead one. A lot of dead flares for a little one, but they really have dominated uh, Duris's uh, land. And now we see a pretty big Aurora force from TLO. So TLO, quite a bit of land construction uh, of his own. Minimal power, you see this 3599 is one feature. In these old games, people haven't had to make as much power. So a little more fighting, a little less infrastructure. But only slightly. Now we've seen Duras on a simultaneous assault on two sides. Uh, looks like he may be a little more cautious. Uh, TLO, uh, yeah, you can see Duras is thinking about catching TLO out of position. TLO actually canceled an upgrade, which was about two thirds of the way done. And uh, TLO could be in trouble. 20 kills. A little bit of timely veterancy. And he's got to get to the water. Looks like if, yeah, this is a micro mistake from Duras. He, he could have uh, easily uh, got in there between TLO and the water. TLO escapes easily now with the ghetto. That was a complete loss for Duris. Duris got absolutely nothing for those tanks except taking off a little bit of health off the ACU which will regenerate and a lot of wreckage so a huge victory for TLO. See more land factories. Haven't really seen too much change in plans from Duris. And now the Auroras continue to uh, Absolutely make these uh, land forces foolish from Duras. And no consequence. Uh, another Aurora, two kills, just sort of hanging out. There is 28 kills. Standing in the middle of the field, thinking multiple ghettos now for uh, TLO. 13 minutes, some interesting things come out. Looks like interceptors for Duras come out only when ghettos, only in emergencies. He's never really had uh, well, that was one of those went down. He never had air control. He just had groups of units uh, come out, kill ghettos uh, as best they could. Looks like that ghetto gets to live. Duras now is going to be forced once again into the water. Perhaps too low there. Thought he may have caught him, uh, caught him off guard, but Duras retreats very well. And another force. Now this force is about 50-50 Flak Aurora. So here the ghetto might not want to uh, fly. You can see how quickly it died. So uh, Tech 1 anti air work, but of course now with land, uh, TLO is definitely going to have uh, advantage with only having Auroras. So even though the numbers might look even, it's this force from Duras much weaker. And Duras, uh, maybe surprisingly, is trying to hold on to uh, map control here. He's uh, nearly 50-50 and it's quite a bit of wreckage on his side. So if he's able to get air control, and actually one big thing, a submarine from the little one, so we're seeing Navy. And actually Tech 2 uh, Navy from the little one. That's a big uh, mass investment. TLO feeling that he has the advantage to do something tricky. 
And of course, this submarine will now take away the option from Duras to run into the water. Duras now in full retreat. TLO attacking in multiple fronts. Looks like he wants to use his ACU to force Duras to retreat a little further. And also, pretty big assault on the other side, but looks like the numbers are quite even. Duras now uh, really forced back into his own a quarter of this big island. Uh, one thing to note, nobody's tried to go after these islands on the side. Might be a bit surprising. And it looks like this is not a getter, this is just Aurora's on a transport. And those Aurora's made a big mistake getting put on a transport. It was a waste of six Aurora's on a transport. Now we're gonna see the sub make its way around. It's gonna try to get some intel perhaps. And yet another ghetto on its way. This is over 10 ghettos now. We can see uh, recycling of mass from TLO, getting about 250 mass, actually 480 exact. And this is a destroyer from TLO here, minute 17. He is making a pretty big gamble. You can see he's put so much eco. He has actually lost air, which has been uh, really his key method uh, of containing Duras. Of course, Knight does have a good land force of his own, and he is going to have this navy. But in terms of land, it's actually quite even. TLO used his advantage to really get this uh, Tech 2 navy out, and not to get a land advantage. And one very surprising thing, there's still a piece of rock here that TLO has missed. Could have been pretty quick, critical early on. Uh, of course, at this stage, it's not that big a deal. The total air control. And we're seeing some flag coming out for TLO, so... That is going to weaken his forces. Duras actually beginning to make some sort of a comeback. It's uh, two auroras, a whole bunch of flak. He's beginning to encroach on uh, TLO's territory. Now we see uh, the fight that can only happen in Aeon versus Aeon. In the middle of uh, the pond. And actually Duras just lost his entire force. And he's just got his ACU. No, no capability for torpedoes inside that pond for TLO. So Duras is going to be safe. It's interesting what that uh, Aurora Force is going to do. Trying to stay off radar, and this destroyer is nearly finished. And uh, once you get a Tech 2 Navy here against the no Navy, uh, you're pretty much one. Unless, of course, the other player has a really strong Tech 2 air. That's, of course, not the case. There is here really close to dying. That was a nice overcharge with two kills. Uh, gets into the water just in time. And here comes the destroyers, also some uh, shards, some uh, uh, anti-air ships, like one anti-air. Still no kills for the Exodus class destroyer. These roars could actually do quite a bit of damage against uh, the naval factory. The destroyer though is uh, well on its way. We're also seeing bombers from Duras. And Duras using uh, his air advantage is beginning to push GLO back on land, but he is going to be very uh, disappointed when he sees the destroyer. May have already seen it when those auroras attack. Actually, TLO here in danger of losing his uh, land factory or naval factory. Destroyer now with two kills, of course. It's, uh, the weapon here on this destroyer is really good against stationary targets or very expensive units. Very slow uh, reload. Not very good against bunches of Tech 1. There is 52 kills in the middle of the ocean. Uh, pretty dead. And uh, what can he possibly do against that? A whole bunch of Tech 1 bombers, maybe, but not with this uh, amount of anti air. So, Tech 2 air is basically a must. Because uh, not another option, of course, is the overcharge. But with the uh, Duras ACU in the pond in the middle, that's not really an option. Now uh, we're going to see Duras base slowly die. One shot, one kill on quite a few of these units from that destroyer. TLO then getting an upgrade. Actually, TLO might get himself in trouble. He does have quite a few units. Actually, Duras is nearly dead. So, 61 kills, though, a bit of veterancy. TLO getting an upgrade in the middle of uh, battle. He's actually just canceled it. He really doesn't want the draw, so he just canceled that at the end. He's trying to make his way to the water. Duras knowing that if TLO goes under 4,000, actually, here you can have a draw. Duras can have a draw here if you want it. It looks like he's now going to do the cheap move and control K. 
I know he's got very few options against his destroyer. He is losing his mass. But TLO has really... Um, now that gamble with the destroyer no longer really looks that good, uh, given that TLO is losing map control. And this destroyer could actually be pretty vulnerable against a large amount of Aurora's. And I think that's exactly what Durst is going to try to do. He's going to try to play his way out of this... Uh, of this position, and it looks like TLO now. Quite a bit of trouble stuck alone in the pond. And without tech to air it's really a very safe position. And Destroyer actually has been sunk. This is a, a mistake by TLO. Now Dur is really in control of this game. Dur is now running away. Of course there's still this tech to in a naval shipyard could be used for something like a tech to engineer. But looks like it was not to be both players die in the middle. Here minute 24. So classic TLO versus Duris. Uh, hopefully people enjoyed it.